What's the best way to play video games? Is it on console with Xbox One? Is it the PlayStation 4? Is it the Nintendo Switch? Or is it on PC? Or is it on your phone? Okay, okay, definitely, it's definitely not on your phone. Okay, stop, stop playing yourself, okay? A long, long time ago in the galaxy far, far away known as the San Fernando Valley, Little Macro and his brothers received a Christmas gift. The Nintendo 64. It came with Super Mario 64, but my brothers and I, we scraped up all the little pennies and all the little stuff that we had at this point, sold it all, and bought ourselves some more games. We bought Mario Kart, GoldenEye, Donkey Kong Country, Diddy Kong Racing, Pokemon Stadium, Ocarina of Time, and of course, the greatest game on the console, We were hooked. Video games were a part of our life from then on. We got a Dreamcast, then a PlayStation, then a PlayStation 2, then an Xbox 360, and now we all have jobs and big boy money. So we all at one point had our own Xbox Ones. Yeah, that's right. We're kind of lame. Halo 3 is the game that introduced me to online multiplayer. I skipped Halo 1 and 2. I didn't really have an Xbox, so I didn't really get to play those good games. Okay, your boy Shankmaster was climbing that competitive Halo 3 ladder. Yeah, that was my name. My name was Shankmaster. I wasn't proud of it. In fact, I changed my name to The Marcos because I just didn't like that name so much. And yes, my name is Marcos. Wow, macro, Marcos, so creative. Anyways, I stuck with Microsoft and continued to play Halo 3, Halo Reach, and Halo 4. And that's kind of when I quit on the Halo franchise because Bungie had a kind of a falling out with Microsoft and they were working on a new game. This game that was totally gonna fail, man. I mean, like, nobody plays this game. Like, psh, I hope they don't get a sequel, am I right? I haven't really played many multiplayer games since. I mean, every now and then I'd play Call of Duty. I mean, you know how I feel about that franchise. I played Gears of War a bit. But then I went off to college and moved on from games, really. I wouldn't play another big online multiplayer game until, of course... <laughs> See, Overwatch is the thing that hooked me back into online gaming, and I wanted to get the best experience possible, so... At first, I bought myself an Xbox One, just for myself, because I really wanted to play it and not have to share with my brothers. And I was good at it! I actually climbed all the way up to Masters, there was a glitch and I got top 500 for season 2 which is like really funny but I always show it off to people because why not. But then I would watch the pros. Wow. Miro gonna come in with a charge though. Yeah, Aron takes out Gods as well, there goes Stare, Aron pulls out the Dragon Blade and I think USA is in a lot of trouble right now. Hey, that, that button is not on my controller. How is he turning so fast? Where are the controllers? All of the big shots were playing on a PC, and I wanted to be a big shot, so I got myself a PC, and PC showed me a whole new world, a dazzling place I never knew. I played Fallout 4 on console before, but on PC, the mods, man, the mods. I could emulate my favorite games of the past, like Kingdom Hearts, that's something I couldn't even play on Xbox because it's a PlayStation exclusive. And then, I could beat it in 6 hours because you could fast forward through the cutscenes, those unskippable, long ass cutscenes. And then of course, Overwatch was made for PC. Updates came so much quicker, way quicker than they did when they are on console. I could finally have my own unique name, so I chose Macro because why not? The game felt smoother with 144 FPS graphics. I could turn around faster, finally I could turn around faster. It was all I hoped and dreamed for, but it wasn't all easy. See, first of all, PCs ain't cheap. If you want a good one, you're gonna look at around a thousand plus dollars. That's like the price of the new iPhone X! Not to mention, I've been using a controller my entire life, so I was awful, like I was straight garbage at mouse and keyboard. So bad that I did my first competitive placement matches with a controller. I managed to play some Platinum though. I was super uncomfortable with the WASD movement and using my pinky to press things. I never had to use my pinky before. The mouse felt easier to learn though, but I was not willing to learn 
the WASD setup, so I try to come up with my own stupid solutions. Half controller, half mouse. The smooth movement of a controller with the accuracy of a mouse. In my head, that made sense, only it was hard to hold both of these at the same time, so that idea, I, I scrapped it. I looked up if anyone else had my problem, and some came up with a solution. The gamepad can be much more. And that's why I developed the Grifter. You can pair it with the mouse, and you can play PC style, but without the need to sit at a desk. But these developers, they didn't really continue to try and improve this controller, so I didn't want to pay money for this yet because I wasn't sure if it was going to work. So in the end, I gave up, and I gave in to the mouse and keyboard, and I never looked back. Now, I play pretty much exclusively on PC. Of course, you know, there are games that I can't get on PC, like some Nintendo exclusives. I'm looking at you, Breath of the Wild, so I had to pretty much get a Switch at one point. But I'm done with buying new consoles every generation. I'm not going to buy another Xbox One. I'm not going to buy an Xbox Two. I'm not going to buy a PlayStation 5. Okay, maybe, maybe I'll buy, because they're, see, but PlayStation has a lot of exclusives where Xbox doesn't, so I can, I'll make a whole video on that later, but basically, I'm okay with just this PC, because my PC will be able to play most games in the future, and it's something that I think was a worthwhile investment. Also, Steam has so many cool indie games that I couldn't get before, and there are also other things that you could be done on PC that I couldn't do before on console. I can stream so much easier. Uh, follow me on Twitch, link in the description, shameless plug. I can record gameplay and edit things all at once at the same time on this PC. So I have no regrets on making the switch from console to PC. But that's just my experience. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Do you prefer your PC? Have you thought about switching to a PC but just don't know why? Well, let me know. Also, Nintendo, give me Smash on PC, man. I literally buy your consoles for one game. <laughs> Oh,